YouTube workout buddies and welcome to this week's workout. So today we are doing another busy morning metabolism boosting HIIT workout. Uh, this one is going to be silent so that means if you live in an apartment building with thin floors or you just don't want to make a lot of noise for your neighbors or roommates or whatever this is going to be a great workout for you. It's also low impact because there's no jumping so if you have some injuries it's going to be a bit you know less harsh on your body. Uh, it's still going to be really intense though and we're just going to power through 20 minutes. So for this workout you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need your sofa or the edge of your bed or a chair, something to do hip thrusts off of. You're going to need uh, some weights. Uh, I'm going to be using two dumbbells and a kettlebell and you'll also need some sliders. Now uh, if you're on a carpet like I am you can use some sort of plastic lid or if you're on hardwood floor you can use a tea towel or socks. Um, and actually no tea towel because you'll be wearing shoes. You don't want to take your shoes on and off. So yeah, uh, tea towels. <laughs> and you'll also need one of these mini bands. I'm um, using a heavy one, but yeah, whatever type of mini band you have, that will be great. If you don't have the mini band, it's okay, but it just adds a little bit. You know, I like using the mini bands. So yeah, there's going to be a four minute warm up, and we're going to go just like right through into the workout from the warm up and we're going to stop after 10 minutes, take a short break just so I can restart the camera because it shuts off after like 15 minutes. So I don't want to have that happen in the middle of an interval. So 10 minutes, short break, last 10 minutes. It's going to fly by really quickly, but it's going to give you a really good burn and work the whole body and it's going to be great. Let's just say that. Okay, let's get started. All right, guys, we've got a 10 second countdown. We're starting with three-way lunges on the right leg. So brace that core, lunge forward to the side, keep the chest up and to the back. If you want a little extra, you can put your arms up. That will make it a little bit more cardiovascularly <laughs> challenging. Uh, and just make sure you have all of your equipment handy uh, there's going to be some quick transitions between equipment and intervals. So yeah, the first thing you're going to need is your band. So after this, so we're going to do this lunge here on the right and then we're going to do the other side. And then after that, you're going to put the band on real quick, okay? So make sure you got your band handy. Okay, other leg. super gloomy day in June right now. It's raining and windy and it's just a little bit depressing. But I guess at least I've got my workout to keep me warm. Make sure your core is braced and your chest stays up and really feeling it in your glutes during that lunge. This one's basically to get our hips warmed up, our legs, and get the heart rate up a little bit. Okay, put your band on. No, where's the band that I wanted? Got like three floating around here. Okay, this is my heavy band. All right, get, uh, we're gonna do bird dogs now. So tabletop position, brace the core. You're gonna lift one leg and the opposite arm, making sure your torso is not rotating, keeping the core really stable. All you're moving is the arm and the leg. Squeeze that glute, resist the band on the way back. I love doing this exercise with the bands. It just, it's like doing a band, it's like doing a cable kickback at the gym, you know? I just really feel it in my glute with the band doing this. I love it. <laughs> Hope you guys love it too. Okay, glute bridge. Get on the ground. Got 
your band on already and you're gonna keep your band on for the next few exercises. Okay, push up through your heels, squeeze the glutes, keep the core engaged. Waking up the booty, getting it ready for the rest of the workout. And you don't need to go fast here. It's actually better if you go slow and really focus on that mind-muscle connection. Just see what we've got next. All right, you're gonna need your sliders next. So go ahead and grab your sliders. Where are my sliders? Okay, we're doing two push-ups, two pike sliders, and two abductions. So put your feet on the sliders. Two push-ups, one, two, come into pike, one, two, and feet come out, one. Focus on squeezing the glutes, one, Two, bring it in, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, five seconds left. Awesome. Okay, get over to your couch. You can keep the band on, get your sliders, put your back on the couch, bring your hips up, and we're doing hamstring sliders. Keep your hips elevated and squeeze your booty. This is a tough one. Two seconds left. What we got after this? I think we I can't read it from here. We're just gonna keep going. Ten seconds. Good. Next up. Hip thrust. Grab a weight. We're doing two legs. And you're gonna place the weight across your hips. Come down, squeeze on the way up, and control the way down. Keep your core very locked in. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this in the booty. 20 seconds left. All right, for the next exercise, you can remove the band. Okay, here we go. Plank step overs, have your chair handy. See, part of the workout is just getting from one exercise to another. So you're gonna start up like this, come down, touch the ground, push up. Now walk into a pike, give me a pike push up. Walk back into a plank and step down. Belly touches the ground, come back up. Press, or sorry, walk into pike, push up, walk back, come down. You know, this workout, since it's only 20 minutes, if you wanted a longer workout, you could totally do this twice, because there's, you know, not a lot of repetition in this workout. Okay. 
grab. Hang on, I just need to pause the timer. Here we are. Oh, we already did that. Okay, I messed up. Grab your dumbbells, four rows, two push-ups, one lateral raise. So, bent over rows, one, two, three, four, and down two push-ups, one, two, come back up, lateral raise, bend over, one, two, three, four, two push-ups, one, two, lateral raise, again, Now we're doing single leg hip thrust with the right leg. So position yourself against the edge of the couch. Lift the left leg and squeeze the booty all the way down, all the way up. If this is too much for you, you can switch back to doing two legs. Maybe add the weight if you want. Or if you're a beginner, do it body weight. The single leg hip thrust is not an easy exercise. Keep the core tight. Ten seconds. Ah, it's burning. Last few reps. That's it for me. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take maybe 30 second break. Catch your breath. Next exercise, get your kettlebell or your weight. We're gonna do a goblet squat with a glute raise on the right leg. You're gonna start the timer again. So I'm using my 20 pound kettlebell here. And get ready. Brace the core. Squat, oh, <laughs> and lift. Same leg, repeating. Really squeeze the glute on that right leg. You can do, if it's more comfortable, you can kick out to the side I usually do that, but I thought, oh, let's kind of do a rear glute raise today. I don't really do that very often. 10 seconds left. Right after this, we're going back to the hip thrust. So drop the weight. So now we're doing the hip thrust on the left leg. Lift that right leg up and squeeze the glute. Keep the core engaged. We've got 30 seconds. much you can always take a break go back to two legs well we've got 10 seconds left so let's finish it off with power good all right two plank rows sorry goblet squat with glute raise on the left leg you're gonna squat down, lift it up. Squat, squeeze the glute. Don't just throw your leg out there. You wanna lift and lower with control. We've 
got 15 seconds left. Come on, you got this. All right, grab your dumbbells. Two plank rows, two bicep curls. Let us start with the bicep curls. All right, so one, two, hop into a plank. One, two, brace the core and squeeze the glutes. When you're doing that, those plank rows. muscle soreness from doing 170 pound sumo deadlifts at the gym yesterday. So I usually, this seems so light to me right now because I usually use my 35 pound kettlebell for swings when I'm doing these workouts, but my back's just kind of, kind of sore. So I don't want to, you know, I, I had a back injury about a year and a half ago, so I just really want to be careful. If I feel any sort of soreness, I just back off the weight a little bit. We've got a few seconds left. Good. Alrighty. Pendulum lunge with the right leg. You can do this body weight or with dumbbells. Alrighty, let's go. One and to the back. Brace the core, chest up. Engage those glutes. Focus on that mind-muscle connection. Let's try doing it without touching down. Ooh, didn't do it. There we go. Woo. Brace the core, focus on that balance. Just a few more seconds. Good. Okay, baby plank walk with sliders. Put your feet on your sliders, get into your forearm plank, and we're walking forward, keeping the torso facing the ground. Don't rotate through your hips. Little baby walks. And reverse when you run out of space. Keep your core brace, squeeze your glutes as well. I never used to know that you're supposed to squeeze your glutes when you're in a plank. But now I know. <laughs> you live and learn, right? 11 seconds left. Don't let your hips sag. Good. Okay, grab your dumbbells again. Pendulum lunge on the left leg. Let's try. I'm gonna try to do it without touching my foot on the ground in between. That means I can, I have to talk less though because I can't really balance that well when I'm talking to you guys. Whoa. So I almost fall over. Good. All right. Grab 
your weight, whatever weight you want. We're doing two squat and press and four squat walks. So squat, overhead press, squat, overhead press, squat, walk. One, two, three, four, get low. One, two, walk it back. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Ooh, I love this one, it's killer. Full body, one, two, three, four. Almost there, guys. One, get low. Good. All right, guys, last exercise. Get into a plank. Four oblique mountain climbers, four froggers. So bring that knee to the opposite elbow four times. Two, three, four. Now four froggers. So one, step that foot forward towards your hand. Two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's speed it up, guys. We did it. Nice work, you guys. Whew, I'm feeling good. Hope you're feeling good. Let me know in the comments below if you do more than one round of this and how it goes. Uh, I'm so out of breath. Anyways, yeah, don't forget to stretch, drink lots of water, and I will see you guys in the next workout. Thank you for working out with me. Bye.